We begin with an update on crime in the city of Wilmington. Police Chief Donnie Williams sharing end-of-year statistics from 2021 compared to 2020 and previous years. Robberies have decreased by 34 incidents. This is the lowest robbery level since 2009. Aggravated assaults have decreased by 112 incidents. Violent crime has decreased by 133 incidents, or 17%. Chief Williams also recognizing the men and women of the police department for their hard work and thanking partner agencies for their continued support. Next up, City Council keeping its promise to distribute American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA, funding to those in need. Cape Fear Collective will receive a $250,000 grant to purchase and provide affordable homes in the city of Wilmington. For us, what it means is, um, you know, a guarantee of two to three units um, maintained at affordability, which is utilizing kind of the HUD rates um, for 20 years. So our goal there is to have kind of a, a three to four times return um, on that $250,000 grant uh, for additional affordable housing. In addition to Cape Fear Collective, Genesis Block will receive $100,000 of ARPA funding. The Wilmington-based organization provides development services for early stage businesses and entrepreneurs with a focus on minorities. There's so much more demand. We can service so many more entrepreneurs and bring them into the community and, and turn them into viable businesses. But we have to get them trained at those early stages. The ARP funds for us will give us that position. It gives us those resources to service those companies. It's about 80 of them. This community investment is part of a larger effort to put $9 million of ARPA funding into economic and community assistance. For more on the meeting, you can go to WilmingtonNC.gov. City Council will meet again on February 15th at 6.30 p.m.